I will call the April 10th licensing hearings and public safety committee to order. Uh, roll call. Alder Russ is here. Alder Decker. Here. Alder Heideman. Here. Alder Ackley. Here. And Alder Feldy. I am here and I can take the meeting from here as long as there's no delay. All righty. All right, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Already, we all know each other here. Can um, can we have a, a everybody go go around the table and introduce themselves? Sure. Already, Betty wants to start. I'm Betty Ackley, District Four older person. Joe Heidelman, District Ten. Dean Decker, District Six. Oh, uh, Zach Russ, District Eight. Chuck Adams, City Attorney. Matt Walsh, Lieutenant, Police Department. Eric Montiano, Fire Chief. Krista Mogalski, Police Chief. Kathy Hoffman, City Attorney's Office. All right. And I, I am virtual. Um, I am vice chair of this committee. All right. I'm looking for approval of the minutes for the March 27th meeting. Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, minutes are approved. Item number six, RO number 128-23-24 by Police Chief Christopher Domogowski, pursuant to section 30-50 of the Municipal Code's main annual report for the Police Department for the year 2023. Chief? Good afternoon. Um, so the report should be attached. Um, there's a lot of information in it about the work that we did last year. Um, I'll just hit some of the highlights. It was a year of change. We had um, some retirements in our senior management and we did a uh, reorganization of that senior staff. Um, so we promoted an assistant chief and two new captains. So our, our executive staff is um, pretty much brand new this year. So it's um, been exciting, lots of new energy and, and new work. We've also um, last year had two new cool. lead officers appointed. Um, and so they've hit the ground running and had to build new relationships. And I think lots of excitement around them. And then another big change was through a grant, we were able to hire a victim services coordinator. It should be my job. Mm -hmm. um, Good stuff. Um, the other thing is at the end of last year, finally, we were able to start a, a co-responder program um, with the county. And so we've started to see um, good things um, through that. Um, really able to, to respond better to people in crisis and hopefully over time make better um, connections with them for the services that they need. Um, what we found so far is that because of the demand, um, Elevate has actually um, now put more resources into it. So on second shift on, on many days, we have actually two um, social workers working with us rather than just one. So in spite of all the challenges that we faced last year, we still saw an overall 3% um, reduction in crimes that were reported versus 2022. Um, and a slight reduction, about 2% in accidents. So that's pos uh, very positive things. Um, besides that, I would just say that, that we're really grateful for the great relationships and um, cooperation and good relationships, working relationships that we have throughout the city and with the uh, many partners and citizens that, that support us and um, work with us. So we're grateful for all of that. Um, so that would be my report. I can answer any questions anybody might have. Any questions? Oh, I've got one. Sure. How's the relationship between uh, your department and the counties, the Sheboygan County Police Department? Is, is that something that's that it's like they're always working? Because the other day I drove down to Indiana Avenue, Indiana Avenue and there was a sheriff's car over there and I don't know I don't know what he was doing there but is that do they patrol for us 
they don't patrol for us, but there's there's obviously some overlap. And then depending on what's going on where in the city and county with, with joint dispatch, I think there's better awareness of where resources are needed. Um, so we have a strong relationship with the Sheriff's Department and with all the other um, law enforcement agencies in, in the county. Very good. Any other? Dean? You have the MEG unit that takes care of a lot of that. You're also the drug enforcement, that's with Plymouth Falls, that's, you know, right. all of them, correct? Yep, multi-jurisdictional unit that yeah. we're the lead on, but wouldn't get done without help from everybody. Oh, one other thing I would add, so yeah, I was going to say that, is at the end there are some, some highlights about some awards that were given out, so I think that, that recognition um, is important. So the MAG unit um, won an award from the International Association of Chiefs of Police. Um, they were recognized for excellence in criminal investigations, um, so some of our members got to go out to San Diego um, to receive that award. Um, Sarah Blodgett was selected last year as the Woman Police Officer of the Year, and Michael Filkey was recognized um, by the Wisconsin State Assembly as the 2023 Hometown Hero Award. Any other items? Yeah, exception file. All right. We'll recommend we'll exception file. Second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Already. That's filed. Thank you. I am number seven, RO number 132-23-24 by the state clerk submitting various license applications. We are recommending granting all of the applications, but one of the grants will be contingent on their first receiving a street festival permit, including permission to close the street, and I suspect that will not be happening. However, that the issue is not so much the change of premises as it is the street festival, so we would grant contingent. Okay. Any discussion on this? I make a motion to approve with staff recommendations. Second. All, right. all those all those that to approve? Aye. 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 Ayes have it. That is approved. All right, number eight. Our next meeting date is tentatively scheduled for April 24th, 2024. Looking for a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn, Senate Aye. Second. All those in favor of Aye. 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 We are adjourned at 438. Thank you, everybody.